Okay, this how-to video is going to go through the Allegro constraint compiler that's available inside the Cadence PCB tools. So what is the constraint compiler? Um, it's the ability to uh, import constraints um, in a template format. So instead of going, trying to get a complex you know, DCFX file or a TCFX file out of the con uh, an existing design constraint manager and then take it across into another design and then apply it to the rules. Uh, it's basically using a template format that uses an Excel file um, and you would then export a CSV format from that, from Excel, and then that would then allow you to then import these files. So um, a lot of manufacturers provide kind of EDA guidelines um, for customers to use the technology. Um, but what they're doing is that these guidelines are very normally uh, interface specific, and it's kind of left up to the designer to, in, to, to interpret those guidelines and apply the rules in, in Constraint Manager. And what normally happens is that the design is either under or over constrained. Um, it's not a 100% guarantee. So um, by using the Constraint Compiler, what you can do is you can actually set up a specific set of rules and get those rules verified. And then there's like a mapping table that would change things like net names or, or reference designators um, to make it design specific. So you can have a centralized library that would allow you to kind of import these constraints. Um, there's some useful help guides with this. So I think first things first, there is, if you go to the support.cadence.com and then look under the resources, there's something called a rapid adoption kit. And when we go to this web page, if we look under um, Allegro PCB editor, there's actually one in this list called the Allegro Constraint Compiler. So let's just uh, click on that. So this is actually a, a workshop that you can go through. There's a database and all the labs effectively here, so you can click and download this zip file. Um, and this would go through step by step effectively what the constraint compiler is and, and the process of how to use it. So it's a, it's a good working example to go through um, to give you an idea of how to follow this thing. Um, what I would recommend is, is starting simply with these and, and before you get too complex to, to, to understand the process um, and we can go from there. There's also some templates that Cadence provides. So if we go to the installation folder, if we go to C Cadence 17.4, there's a share folder, and then there's a PCB examples, and then there's an ACC folder, uh, and there's some starter templates here that effectively have the templates. So there's a, a physical rules, a spacing rules, some electrical basic propagation labels. And if we open one of these, Effectively, what you'll see is the the kind of the template where you would fill in things like the the physical rule name or the table name, the revision name, um, the units you want to use, and then start to specify your rules underneath here. Um, that uh, rapid adoption kit that Kate provides go through this in a lot more example. There's some example functions here, and there's some the actual physical constraints rules that you'd physically need. So once we've kind of got all that information sorted out. Um, the way you would run this, so in, in the example here, I've actually got some. So let's just go to um, a working folder. I've got an ACC library here. And the way the tools look at it is if we go to setup and user preferences and look under um, paths and config, there's now an ACC path, which allows us to kind of look to where that directory is. So you can see it's using a, a specific location. Um, let's go and add a new one here. So browse. And I'm going to pick the ACC library here. Choose this as the folder and move that up. And then the way you would actually physically run the constraints. So let's just give you an example first. So I'll go to one of these ones. Um, so I've got some differential pair rules and some physical rules. So if I open the differential pair rules, you can see effectively I've got a, a rule called 100 ohm DP, 85 ohm DP, and I've got an electrical differential pair rules. Uh, phase rule here so gather control diff pair couples etc um, my tolerances there's my min line width my min neck width my primary gaps net gaps and and spaces um, and I've got different rules uh, effectively for conductor microstrip or conductor dual line um, so that's the basic principle of, of setting rules up you would then save this as a CSV file let's go and look at the physical one so same scenario I've got a rule here called um, Phys, uh, physical physical layer and, and all the different rules that I specifically want, so line-to-line -line spacings, uh, some of my spacing rules, 
my uh, my min line width, my min max line width, my min next width, etc. So all these rules are defined in a spreadsheet. Um, if we then go to the design we've got and uh, we start off with constraint manager if we look under say the physical rules you can see at the moment I've just got a default and a, and a hundred ohm differential pair rule here if I go to the spacing rules again nothing here so I've got some some default rules here if I look at the electrical rules I've got no electrical rules in this design so we'll start off if we go to tools and constraint compiler um, we basically get the, the, the parser, so there's my ACC library, so there's all my the, the files that I've got. So I'm going to pick effectively uh, the first lab, because um, this is the ones that I've done the editing in, and I'm just going to load the selected files. Uh, I can then click next, and then you'll see there's my differential pair rules and my physical rules. So there's the two CSV files for that directory. So I've now got some options, I can either apply them directly to the design or I can do a validate. So a validate will look at the constraints, look at the design, and then run the constraint um, Validation report, so you'll physically see a report that, uh, that the constraint manager will show you. So it will actually give you a list of the rules that are going to get generated. So you can see there's my constraint compiler report. It's also good that you can confirm the, the rules that you have here without kind of bringing it into the design first. If you get any uh, mistakes or typos, you'll physically see those in this uh, constraint compiler report and then go and make the appropriate changes to the to the uh, CSV file and then try the file again. So, and if we look at the kind of the different constraint sets, there's my electrical constraint set, so it's making an e ECS DP phase, and there's the specific rules. If we go to the constraint sets, let's look at the physical constraint sets, there's my two um, differential pair based rules, and again, all the different uh, constraints available for that. So I'm, if I'm happy with that, I can then just physically apply those constraints to the design. It will then, validate that and bring the show me the constraint compiler report again but this time it will physically import these into constraint manager so we'll just close the constraint report and close this down and if we then look at the routing now so obviously i've got this ecdp phase and if i go to the differential pairs there's my physical rule or my, my electrical rule brought in for the differential pairs here if we look at my physical constraints now i've got all these pcs rules so the 100 ohm the 85 ohm the 8 mil, 6 mil, etc. So all these rules have been brought in from the constraint compiler report. Um, it's not applied any to any of the nets because I haven't done anything like that yet. All I've done is done a physical and spacing. So look at the physical and spacing rules. And again, it's brought in the, the SCS rules here. These are the spacing rules that I, I had as part of that design. So um, that's a brief overview of the constraint compiler. I would recommend going through this rapid adoption kit that Kate provide. It will really give you a good interface and an understanding of how to use this uh, this tool going forward.